Today we're talking about fiber optic basics. The advantages over copper, single mode versus multi-mode. We'll talk about connectors in a subsequent video. One of the main advantages is size. Fiber optics is a lot smaller than copper for the same amount of communication capacity. The other advantage is increased bandwidth or speed of the signal that can go down the actual fiber optic cable. This results in a lower cost for any high speed network. It should be noted though if you don't need a small size or you don't need a high speed then often a copper connection will uh, do just fine. Let's look at the uh, disadvantages of fiber. Assuming that you need the speed or the size of fiber some of the disadvantages that come along with that are uh, the, the cost of the transceivers the other disadvantage is there's a sensitivity to any kind of contamination, especially dust in the air or oils off the skin. Every fiber link works by having a transmitter at one end and a receiver at the other end and having fiber in between. And this fiber can be thought of as a kind of a pipe where the light goes in one end and comes out the other end into the receiver. If there are connectors put in the line, any connectors in the line will add to the insertion loss. In between these connectors is a fiber end face and these end faces must be lined up very exactly in order for the light to go from one into the other. Any kind of contamination that's between these connectors will cause a higher loss and potentially cause the link to fail. You can see an end view of this connector where the light is going down the core of the connector and then these dirt particles are um, around the core. If one of the particles gets in front of the core it will stop the light from coming through causing a high loss and causing the link to fail. Looking at the two types of fiber that's multi-mode versus single mode. For uh, multi-mode the core of the fiber where the light is passing down is much larger than on single mode. On single mode you can see the core is quite small, around 10 microns, whereas on multi-mode it's usually 50 microns or 62.5. Those are the two common sizes of core. From the outside the fiber looks the same, so that's why the fiber is colored differently between single mode and multi-mode. Generally 62.5 is orange and 50, uh, 125 can be orange or the more modern fibers are uh, a blue or a light blue. Generally multi-mode fiber acts more like copper and is applicable for shorter distances or lower speeds. Whereas the single mode fiber tends to be for long distances and higher speeds.